friends today's video is very very useful for the people who are going to do data analysis and business analysis have you wondered how to combine the data from two different tables into one pivot table we all know how to make the pivot table i have made a separate video on that but today we are going to learn a very very important function in data analysis that to how to combine the two different data into one pivot table for example here we have data from two years that is 2022 and 2023 this data we have the account numbers in both the data the account number and name are same but the information is different in 2022 we have just account number and amount deposited and in 2023 we have account number with city with currency with currency code and the amount deposited for 2023 obviously it is different from 2022 now how to make such kind of a table that shown here where we have account number and the amount deposited for 2022 and 2023 and here i have represented the difference also whether it is increase from 2022 or whether it is decrease from 2022 how to do that for doing that we are going to use a power pivot table and that is what we are going to learn here it is going to be very very useful for those who do the data analysis and represent the data so it will save a lot of your time while doing this data analysis so let us go ahead and start the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so this is our data here we have a data for year 2022 with name account number and amount deposited in 2023 we have name account number with some additional columns which are not there in 2022 and uh, the amount deposited which is different from 2022 because it is for 2023 so first of all we'll need to convert this tables uh, into table format basically this data into table format and then only we will be able to link that uh, those two tables those two data basically so for that i will press control t and say okay now it is converted into table this is the table name that i will give from a table design uh so i will uh put it as a data underscore 2022 and for this again i will convert into table control t okay for that also i will give the name as data underscore 2023 so this is done now i will create a pivot table so to insert a pivot table don't use the shortcut use this key this uh, uh, this function from insert put the pivot table from the date the table range so the data is selected new worksheet yes but make sure that you add this data to the data model because we are creating data model that is the reason we need to check this box and then say okay uh here the pivot is created so just rename that okay now here this is different than a simple pivot table because this is a data model that we are created here we are active uh, data and here all so here you can see the two tables are there which is from which we created just now data 2022 and data 2023 so here i will create a pivot table simple pivot table account number on row side and amount deposited on the value side so here the condition is that we should have some unique value the way we have in view lookup the unique value here it should be there in the both of the table at least one unique value here i have account number as a unique value from which i will link these two tables how do we do that let us go ahead and learn that so i have created a simple pivot table on uh, data 2022 which gives me this is the account number and this is the amount deposited amount deposited 2022 now i want to add here another column for 2023 because i want to combine this two tables so i will go to all 
and then from 2023 i will take amount deposited here now you can see here uh, this is this shows uh, only one figure that means it is incorrectly pulled uh, data because it is this is these two tables are not linked so i will need to create the link <clears throat> from these two tables so i'll click on here create the link or else i can go from uh, the data and from here i will uh, create the relationship between the two tables so i will create it from here now the way i told you the something as a unique value so from where i need to create the relationship from 2022 or 2023 then account number is a unique value so on the both the sides i will take account number as a unique value uh, and then i will create the relationship now you can see here the data is changed so i took 2023 and linked with 2022 so make sure that you first of all when you create a relationship you are choosing the 2023 first uh, the table and then it linked to 2022 so here i will change the name of the uh, name of the title here of that column amount deposited 2023 so i have here both the data from both the tables different tables but the pure table is just one so in any, any any value change here it will get reflected into this pure table so isn't it easy and simple to combine the two data from the pure table for example uh, another one important thing is that there are certain additional fields which are there in this particular table which is not there in 2022 and you want to uh, bring those uh, fields over here that also you can do from 2023 you can put here the city and you will get that like that so this is the way we are linking the two tables one more thing i want the difference over here that means i want to do some calculation using this pure table does pure table do that yes it does it how do how do how does it do that so i will go here in 2023 and then add major i will put the major name difference and then here i will put the formula so uh, what did i do i just right click on 2023 and then i uh, uh, i clicked on the major so this is the window that appears i need to give the major name and here i put the formula okay <laughs> here i put the formula i want difference between this and this and this these two cells but what are these cells these are the sum of sum of amount deposited sum of amount deposited from one table and sum of, sum of amount deposited from another table so i will choose this one sum of amount deposited to minus sum of amount deposited one and then it is in numbers format and then i will say okay let us see how how it works if you see here the fx the function is created i will add that function here and we will see that yes it is working you can see there is a difference between 300 minus 162 that is 134 that means amount is increased by 134 over here in 2023 in uh, for this account for this account the amount is decreased by 445 from 600 to 155 so this is very very easy and very very time saving you need not create an uh, another uh, pivot table as well as did not put any formula to get this kind of a result i mean isn't it amazing so do not forget to subscribe to this channel and i will come up come up with uh, this uh, amazing uh, excel tips and excel formulas as well as it will definitely increase your pro efficiency so stay tuned and bye for now thank you very much